it's Sarah and we are back to continue working on this tissue box. We're going to do the next two sides which is the B step and the bird on a branch. So we did our cat in the last video and the sun. So now I'm going to take, I've been using jelly paper, jelly prints that I've made on my jelly plate. You guys can use any any type of paper so definitely um, scrapbook paper would work and for the B step I'm going to use this cool one this is yellow brown and gold um, basically I just have been really I have to just make sure it fits this is my template I'm kind of gonna I'm gonna just mark this right here and right here so I kind of have an idea um, how big I'm gonna make my B step and I'm gonna make it um, let's see I actually kinda like this this section right here so I'm I'm gonna make it right here and I'm just gonna make it approximately three inches tall probably maybe three three and a half um, so I'm just gonna sketch it out and to do that pretty oops trying to get in the shot here um, I kind of want doesn't really matter because by the time I shade it and paint it and do everything to it It'll be fine. I'm um, just going to pick a place because I already cut off all the edges of the paper. So like I said, so like one, two, three and a half at the most. And you just make kind of like an oval. Can you see? Am I in the shot? Yes. Alright. And then you make kind of like rows like this. And then what you're going to do is kind of give the ends a roundedness. And they can get bigger as they go down. So that's the idea. It kind of widens out as it gets down to the bottom. And that's how I do it. And now this is on the back, so you're not going to see this. This is just to get your shape, how you like it. And then I'm going to put a little handle. I painted this on my last one, but you can actually just draw it, this little handle on the top. And I think I'm going to go with this. And when you cut it out, you can always tweak it, round your ends more. I like them rounded. I don't know why, just appeals to me. And and then it's also going to have a hole, but we can do that with a separate piece of paper. So I like that. I like the shape of it. Let me double check that it's oops, going to fit. It's pretty big. Hmm. But I think I want it big. And I'll put it to the side and have the bees kind of, hmm, let me think. Do I want it that big? I think I'm going to take one of the tiers off. So I'm going to go ahead and use like a different, like a Sharpie so you can see what I'm going to do. But I like this width, but I'm going to stop. This is going to be the top. So I'm going to make this my top and that's big enough. Yeah, I like that better. Does it look even? Yeah, I don't want it too big. I'm going to make the handle. Yeah, that was, it was a little too big because I want more room to put 
bees and stuff. So I'll cut that out. Now I need a little branch for my bird on the other side. So where did I make that measurement? Here. I have... This is right here to here. That's the width. So I want my branch to come out. Am I in the shot? All right. Way too forward. What did I just do? I turned off some light or something? Wow, I did something. Um, by doing this. I don't know, it seemed like a light went off, didn't it? So this is my branch, I'm going to make it... I'm opposite because it's going to be coming from the other way. When you turn this over, it's going to be the opposite. My bird will be sitting up here, and I just want a couple um, limbs to kind of come down and have leaves. I'll probably have a leaf coming out that way and a leaf coming out that way. So this doesn't need to be here. Um, something like that. Alright, so I'm going to go away and cut those out and I'll be back. Okay, so I have... Oop, my plug came unplugged. Hold on. Because I think that uh, my battery was low. So I have my bee skep and my branch. Now I gotta get some grass to put on my bee to put on the here. I think I'm gonna do this one for grass. I do love this too, um, but I think I'm gonna do this. And it has to be what? What was that? Uh, four and three quarters. So I'm going to go. Um, 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 um. Like, I don't even need it. Yeah, two inches is good. Oopsie. And four and three quarters. Because that'll put it across the bottom. I'm just going to make a little hill. And then the B step can go on there. That'll be shorter. I'm um, going to use this for leaves. And I don't have a leaf punch, but you can stamp leaves and cut them out. I'm just going to freehand cut them out. And maybe I'll use a couple, like I'll use a couple of this color and a couple of this color for leaves. They're going to be on the other one. Um, the bees, I need bees and flowers. So let me flip this over. So that's that. Then for the bird, I have, and this could be coming this way or this way, really. And I could actually put another one up here, a little piece. I love this color. Um, so my bird... I think I want to make it either red, let's see, red or pink. So what do you think of these for a bird? I mean, come on, that's a gorgeous bird right there. That is so pretty, but then pink is always good. I can never go wrong with pink, but my cat has pink. I think I should probably do this to play into. Let's just make a pink bird. I'm going to just cut off these edges so I have a... Uh, I like to be able to see what I have. What my paper is made of. And... To make the bird, I've done birdies before. We did it on my ATC. I think I'm going to do them right here in this corner. And remember, whatever, however you draw them, if he's going to go the other way. So I'm going to just draw it however it comes natural to me. 
and hope for the best. That's what I do. Um, my little branch. Where's my little branch? I don't know. Over right here. So. It's just um, a little U shape. And I'm going to give them tail feathers. And I think I want to change that a little, come down in the front and straighter here. And that's the thing, you just tweak it as you go. But for the tail feathers, let's see. Um, I cannot. My when I look up to the camera, it's upside down, and I can't figure out how to. I like that. I have bumps on my. I like that. Okay, so now I can't tell which lines I want to keep and which lines I don't want to keep. So let's start again. Uh, give them a cute... You can draw any kind of bird that you like. And I like to have, actually when you make his beak straight, it kind of makes him, I like it like that. And then I like to give him these little feathers. make him a little snotty bird. So that's your bird. He's going to be facing this way though. When I flip it over, he's facing that way. And then I'll also be wanting to draw a wing. So the wing is basically something like this. Something like that, but I'll do it separate on a different piece of paper. All right, so that's kind of sort of what I'm hoping for. And I'll go off camera and tweak it a little bit. And I'll come back and he'll be right perfect size. And I can put a few more, like maybe another branch sticking in and a couple more leaves. So then for the leaves, basically, you're just going to draw, or you don't even have to draw them. Just... This is what I do. I freehand cut them like this. And you can make, or you can make heart shaped ones. That's what we're going to, I'm going to use a heart shape punch for my little leaves on the B skep side, but that could be a leaf, definitely. Um, so if you have a punch, I don't have any leaf punches. So, but I'm going to cut out uh, about four or five of them and both colors are green and probably another little piece of a branch because I think so I'll just do it right here on this piece just something that'll stick out um, on the other side it's really easy to do just something that sticks out all right, so I have that, and I'll come back, and it'll all be, um, and I'll use this color for the flowers. Okay, so I do have a punch for that, and it's the um, EK Success. Um, I don't know where it is. My green one, so I'll go get that and punch out the, well, it's right here. Hold on.
So I'm going to put a couple of these on the B step side. And you can use any, you can stamp out some um, flowers with flower stamps. I did that. Don't want to get on bird. And so I have four. I think I'm going to need five. Well, no, you know what? Then I'll use a littler. I have a littler EK Success Punch out of the same color pink as the bird. And then the bees. So we'll come back and do bees. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, so here it is so far. I am pretty happy with the colors that I've chosen. I have my little bird on this side. Um, two branches and I've added some leaves. I have seven leaves. I put the little tail feathers and the head feathers and I put a little piece of yellow for the beak. I'll give them feet and everything. Here's the cat. I thought about adding a star. I don't like the shape of this star, but I don't know. I don't think I need it. I think it's okay. I like how he's centered and it'll be fine. Uh, B Skep. I used my EK Success flower and this little EK Success flower. Pretty sure that's it. Yeah. Um, in the same color as the bird and put a few flowers on there. B Skep and the little um, heart shaped leaves are my Martha Stewart punch hearts. And I, I was going to put the same leaves that I cut, but I just decided to put the little ones because I like them. And there's the sun. So it's coming together. Um, we're going to still need some bees and a center for the bee skep. So we'll come back and do that. And that'll be it for this session. So I'll be right back. Okay, so the last little detail that I'm going to do is are my bees and this little snail. Although I didn't make enough room, really, I think I could put them here. And I'll put my hole up here. He's a cutie pie. Um, we'll see. So I'm going to stamp these. These are stamps. These are lawn fawn stamps. And like I said, I just happen to have them. This is called Be Mine. It's from I think 2012 yep 2012 and this one is called gleeful gardens and it's from 2015 last year and that's where the little snail is and this is the little bee so <coughs> a bee is not hard to draw either I mean I just happen to have this stamp so that's why I'm going to use it um I think I want to stamp my snail on this now I put a little wing on my bird to make it dimensional and I just grabbed this it's a scrap from before and I just thought perfect so I think I'm gonna do my snail in the same paper because I don't want to throw too many different colors on here and I just think it it'll be it'll flow better that way so let's I'm just using stays on black ink and I'm gonna stamp him right on this little gold piece and there he is so I'm gonna cut him out see what he looks like and then we're gonna do a bunch of bees now the bees if you want to draw them are pretty simple all you have to do is a little bee body oh, let me zoom in hello a little bee head and a couple of bee wings I mean, and you could do them full like that. Well, let's see what this one looks like. How about I just copy it? So this one's drawn like this. It has a little bee face, a couple of stripes, and two little wings like that. Oh, this is not a very good rendering, but it's basically like that. So don't stress over it. If you, you know, I mean, a bee skep should have bees. So the one thing I'm going to do on here is... Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to have to stamp, I'm going to stamp a few on the front, but I'm going to flip it and stamp a few on the back to get them to face 
the opposite direction. I'll show you what I mean. But I just drew my little um, bees on the other. Oops, that's a little. The paper's folding, so it's not exactly. And this is just a scrap piece of the yellow that I used, I think, for the moon. This was the more yellow paper. I'm trying to find yellow pieces. All right, so that's a lot of bees on that side. Let me do a couple on this side. And that's just so I can cut them out. And because uh, you're not going to see this side, I'm going to cut them out and then draw the other side. So that's plenty. Um, all right, and then that's it for design. So this is done. My um, the bird side is done for now. For what I see, I have two limbs with leaves and a bird. The sun is done. We're gonna shade it, put a face. Done. The bee step. Um, Put a few birds up here, my little snail, it'll be done. Oh, I want a center. I gotta find, I'm gonna find a little something. I want like a dark brown hole. So I'm gonna find my little circle punch and punch a little brown hole. Put it there. The, the cat, I was gonna add a star and I may add an actual star, like a, a star um, button or something. But I don't think it needs it. it. I mean, I could absolutely put a star up there, but I don't think it needs it. So it's done. So we're good. And I love the way it's turning out. The colors are so pretty. It's very tropical looking to me. And I mean, that's just how it flowed today. I don't know. I mean, it, and that's the thing. Like, if we were in a class together and we were using our own jelly prints and stuff, it, they would all look different and because we're drawing um, or you know hopefully you're gonna try and draw this stuff um, or you know like I said use a stamp but they would all look different because no two could ever be the same I mean it's just basically the design idea all right so I'm gonna get my uh, bees all cut out and glued on here just kind of going around the bee skep and get my that, my snail and stuff. And the next part of the uh, tutorial, we are going to do some shading. And I'll give you a couple options. <coughs> Excuse me. I am going to be doing the shading the way I learned it when I used to paint. So I'm going to be painting my shading on. Uh, I'm going to stick with a couple of colors, just um, a green, a blue, and a reddish brown just like I did on um, the houses piece. And um, I think we should be good with that. And then I'll also show you how we can do um, some shading with the pit pens, the big brush, I'm sorry, um, by Faber-Castell. Because we use gel medium, you can blend that India ink um, on the surface and it gives you a really cool shading. So, um, and then we're just going to add our details. We're going to get our faces on here, our cat face and our sun face. And, you know, and it'll come together. So uh, until next time, thanks for watching.